Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to purchase some ADA and store it on the Ledger Nano S. So let's get going. Okay, so now ADA is supported on the Ledger Nano S, and this is a long time coming. We've all been waiting for the Ledger Nano S to support ADA so that we can safely store our Cardano on a hardware wallet. All right, so I'm gonna demonstrate how you purchase a little ADA and put it in a wallet that's based on the Ledger Nano S. All right, so here's the blog post that uh, Cardano is now supported on the Ledger Nano S. So uh, there's a couple little things we need to set up before we move our Cardano in there. Uh, we're gonna need to get the uh, Cardano app on our Ledger Nano device. So uh, the first thing we'll do is just run over here to Ledger Live. All right, and we're gonna need to go over here to Manager. All right, and we can search for Cardano like that if you want, or we could also search for Ada. And there's the app right there. So we're just gonna need to hit the install button. All right, you can see that uh, the Cardano app is being installed on our device. All right, and there we go. Now that we've got that installed, we don't need Ledger Live anymore because there's no account support for uh, Cardano or ADA. So these are cryptocurrencies that we can uh, store in wallets that uh, we can access from Ledger Live, but uh, Cardano doesn't work like that. We're gonna need a third-party app in order to access that private key. So let's just get this guy out of the way now there are a couple different wallets available uh, let's see they've got the Emergo develop Yori wallet which is a uh, browser extension and then they also have the Ada Lite wallet that we can use alright so uh, all we need to do to get the Yori wallet head over here to the Yori wallet homepage and just click download alright and when we get to the Chrome store we can just choose add to Chrome and uh, add extension and then uh, we can use that uh, browser extension. We'll need to make sure we've got ADA installed and that we've got it activated on the device. Right. So we'll hit continue here. Say yes to all of this legalese. And then we'll choose connect to Ledger Hardware Wallet. All right, it's gonna give us some uh, information. We've done all these steps already. All right, tells us to connect the device to our computer, which we've done. All right, now when it starts to spin, we need to check our device, right? The device is asking us to export the public key, which that's fine, we can do that. There's no security risk in exposing our public key. Maybe a little privacy risk, but uh, Cardano is not a privacy-based coin. All right. Now, uh, I've already used this before, so uh, there is a, a transaction in there already, but uh, here we are in the Yori Ledger interface. Interestingly enough, I did not use the Yori Ledger wallet to do this first transaction. I used the Ada Lite Cardano wallet. So both of these wallets are interfacing with the same private key, so we'll see the same transaction history. But at the moment, they're empty. Right? I did a little test transaction. So now I want to buy some ADA and put it in there. So what am I going to do? Well, I could go over to Coinbase. All right, but the only problem is that uh, Coinbase does not sell ADA. I cannot purchase ADA on Coinbase yet. So I'm going to need to do a little finagling. I'm going to need to buy some cryptocurrency and use it to fund a cryptocurrency exchange account that does support ADA. So I'll start with Litecoin. I like Litecoin because it's fast. And I'm going to use the debit card method because that gets me my cryptocurrency right away in my wallet. So we'll just go down here. I'm going to use $25 of US money. Right? I'm going to hit, uh, and you'll notice I'm getting a small merchant fee there. That's part of the, the price that we pay for the convenience and speed of uh, Coinbase. I'm going to hit buy instantly and confirm. And you can see there that I got the Litecoin in my wallet right away. 
So why am I using Litecoin? As I mentioned, I can't buy ADA directly on Coinbase. So I'm going to use uh, a cryptocurrency to fund an exchange that does support ADA. And in today's case, I'm going to go ahead and use uh, Bittrex. So we'll head over to Bittrex. All right, and then we can go over here to Wallets and look for ADA and see that they do support Cardano. Another thing you might want to uh, double check here is to make sure that the wallet is active on this exchange. Sometimes they're under maintenance and you might see a little uh, yield sign there, but uh, Cardano is active today, so we can uh, deposit and withdraw. All right. So uh, what do we need to do? We need to get our Litecoin into our Bittrex account. So uh, we'll go over here to LTC and uh, let's get that Litecoin address by choosing deposit, All right? And that's the Litecoin address of my Bittrex account, All right? I'm just gonna hit the copy here so it's in my clipboard and we'll go back over here to Coinbase, All right? Now, uh, I could save a little money by using Coinbase Pro, but that uh, requires an extra step. I'm gonna try to keep this simple. I don't mind taking a little bit of a hit. I'm just gonna go over here to Accounts and go down to my Litecoin, and I'm gonna choose Send, right? I'm gonna hit Send, and then paste in that Litecoin address of the Bittrex account, All right? And how much do I wanna send? If I click in the Amount box, I've got this Send Max, that will uh, send the maximum amount uh, close to the 25 that I purchased. And we'll just hit continue. It's going to uh, give us a breakdown of the transaction and ask us for our two factor authentication. Coinbase wants to know that I am who I say I am. All right. And once that goes out, we can just go over here to Bittrex and keep an eye on our uh, deposits. You see, you've got pending deposits down here. We'll just click that. It hasn't shown up yet, so we'll just give it some time. Might be a few minutes. So I showed you how to sign into the Yori Ledger wallet, so I just want to briefly demonstrate the uh, Cardano, uh, the Ada Lite wallet. So basically you go to their homepage, all right? You'll uh, enter, and then you'll choose hardware wallet. And then it gives you a picture of two different wallets here. And then you'll choose unlock with ledger. All right, and uh, I allowed this thing to go to sleep. So I'm just gonna re-enter my pin to wake it back up. All right, and once I've uh, uh, entered my pin and re-entered the ADA application on the device, We'll just hit unlock with ledger. It wants me to export the public key and confirm. Now that we've uh, got this wallet open, you can see it accesses the exact same private key, right? So it's just two different interfaces uh, for the same private key, right? This uh, device is the one doing all the work. Uh, the device is the one that's signing transactions. All right, so we can use either one of these wallets, whichever you are more comfortable with. Okay, so now the Litecoin is fully available in my wallet. Uh, it took about uh, 10 or 15 minutes, I'm, I'm assuming. Felt like a, an eternity, but uh, it's here in my wallet. All right, I'm sure my Ledger Nano has gone to sleep. No worries. So first we need to get some ADA. So I'm going to go over here to uh, Litecoin. Uh, I don't believe there's a trading pair for Litecoin, so let me just double check. All right, so we go over here to Cardano. Looks like they got a BTC, uh, but no Litecoin market, right? So uh, let's go back. All right, so we're going to trade our Litecoin for Bitcoin, first of all. All right, so I want to go to sell Litecoin. And uh, sell is a bid, so I'm just going to go over here to bid, right? And then I'm going to do max sell, so I get the total amount that I just purchased, deposited. We'll hit sell Litecoin and hit confirm. All right, you see that trade went through really fast. All right, so now we can go over to our ADA.
right? And uh, we're just gonna go to ADA, and this time we're gonna choose uh, buy ADA, right? And we're gonna buy it with BTC, which we just purchased. So we've got the BTC ready to roll. All right, and buy is an ask price. So let's hit ask and go down here to max buy. And you can see that's gonna net me 361 ADA. All right, I'm gonna hit buy Cardano, and then I'm gonna confirm that. And there we go. Now I've got the ADA in my account. So we can go back over here to wallets, and you can see that I have an available balance of 361 ADA. So let's deposit that in our brand new shiny uh, wallet. All right, so uh, I'm gonna choose the ADA Lite interface. Let's go back over here and make sure that we've got this device woken up, right? I'm going to need to re-enter my PIN. All right, and then once we get in there, uh, we're here waiting for commands. All right, so uh, we want to send some ADA into this wallet. So we go down here to My Addresses and hit Copy Address. All right, and then I'm going to go back over to my Bittrex and I'm going to choose Withdrawal and I'm going to paste in the address of that wallet. All right, so I'm withdrawing my Cardano to that wallet address. Now, I've never done this before, so I'm not going to do the max. Let's just try 10, just to be on the safe side. Just want to make sure that this interface is going to work properly. It's going to cost me one ADA, but I'm willing to do that for you guys. So we'll hit withdraw ADA, and then we're going to need to enter our two-factor authentication for our Bittrex account. And hit withdraw. And the withdrawal has been submitted. Now we can go back over here to our wallet. And we'll just do a refresh. And just wait for that ADA to come in. All right, and there we can see that that nine ADA that I sent from the cryptocurrency exchange is now stored safely in this wallet. All right, keep in mind that ADA is never really stored in a wallet. It's always stored on the ADA blockchain, uh, moved around between addresses. But this particular address, the only way to access it is by controlling the private key. The private key never leaves this device. Uh, the private key is used to sign transactions when we send out. Uh, in this case, we sent ADA into the wallet, so we didn't really need to worry about the private key. Now, if I were going to send uh, this ADA out to somewhere else, then I would need to sign the transaction. But as it stands, uh, the ADA is safely in this wallet, and the only way to access it is uh, through these buttons. All right. So uh, that's the way you store your ADA on a Ledger Nano S device. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions about anything I did, throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get to them. Don't forget I have a live stream every Friday night, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Please join me for the live Q&A in LA. Throw out any questions that you may have and I'll do my best to get them answered on the fly. Hope to see you there. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.